Hello everyone, welcome to Onyx Earth Tarot. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. So we're back with another pick a card reading. It is timeless. We're gonna see what are your dreams trying to tell you. So this is a dream interpretation. Um, we'll also throw in, like if you keep seeing repeating numbers, right? What that may mean for you. Um, if you're seeing synchronicities, what that may mean for you um anything like that some of you are like well what if i'm not dreaming well if you're not dreaming and you wake up tired and you're not sleeping what in your subconscious mind is making you live like that we'll, we'll look into all of that so there's a place a space for everyone here today regardless of where you fall right so um because of the nature of this reading some of you may also benefit from those bird readings there's a playlist on the channel you may also benefit from the skeleton key readings if you also are interested in that as well so for those of you that are visually impaired or if you simply like to choose based on my verbal description let's do it now pile number one is the white icing donut there are lime green sprinkles on top pile number two is kind of fancy it's a pink donut with kind of like swirly stripes on it pile number three is kind of like a caramel colored donut it's got like crumbled up m&ms on top i love that for you and then pile number four is um i think that sprinkles underneath the icing but it is in fact a blue donut so i will give you a moment to make your selection and if you need more time go ahead and pause the video all right pile number one let's see what your dreams are telling you if you're not sleeping angel numbers synchronicities all of that good stuff okay so for those of you that are new here i read and channel past present as well as incoming energy i do read from a polarity which means there's a light as well as a shadow you just have to find yourself and the lesson in the journey okay so let me see what's going on here you can have multiple piles if we don't have a playlist because i'm not i can't remember right now i will create one as this is now a series that way you can Choose until your heart's content, whether in this reading or the other variations of it, okay? So let's get an overview for this group. My pile number one. Let's see. Give me an overview for my pile one. What are the dreams, angel numbers, and or synchronicities telling this group, please? prosperity well look at you prosperity it says that the frequency of prosperity supports our feeling of well-being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body mind heart soul and spirit sing it invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration of the abundance and riches that the universe provides now as I was reading, I heard a little bit of a shadow. Some of you need to pick up on your energy a little bit and be a little more optimistic because this is great energy. It, me it means your dreams are telling you how to be vibrant like this ball of light. Look at it. it, it like, you know, it's a time of day where the light is hitting the card in a way that, that this is the energy we want you feeling, right? Because um, some of you, I could feel the energy of I'm not very prosperous. Um, like, I'm not feeling very great. Like, this is not good. I'm not in a good space. Well... Your dreams, the energy, the synchronicities are putting you where you can achieve that, right? Like where you're not feeling very good, where you're not feeling very prosperous, you're, you're being supported in a ways of how to turn that around. Now, where you're kind of in the middle or even seeing success, that's encouragement like, hey, you're doing a great job, keep going, okay, keep going, okay? So like I said, just to clarify where you're struggling, it, it's to tell you where to go and how to go, where you're doing well it's telling you like hey good job okay so let me do it to the bottom and we'll, we'll get some more clarification yeah consciousness talks about clarification and understanding right where we're conscious we know what's going on around us right so it says i mean the frequency of consciousness supports our ability to focus our attention on all the multi-dimensional aspects that show up so that we can include them in our reality 
okay and that's literally what i just said right it's, it's telling it's telling you how to ground it's telling you how to ground in the 3d all of the things you want all of your goals your, your accomplishments and and when i say goals and accomplishments i mean like the realistic ones the ones where you have the capacity to achieve actively in the near future right we all we all have dreams that we want to accomplish within the next like decade or so but right now you're getting support on what to prioritize how to prioritize in the best ways right so for example if you're avoiding things your dreams are calling your attention to the areas of life where you're avoiding the potential to be prosperous got it and that could be any area of life where we're talking about just growth development internally where we're talking about like being prosperous in the external world where we're talking about like our relationships all of those things could be um topics and things right because we're talking about right consciousness and prosperity right being more conscious towards prosperity right so i like this energy so tell me more about my pile number one what are the dreams angel numbers and synchronicities mean right master numbers universal numbers all of the signs right tell me more five of cups i heard wasting time so some of you are being um your attention is being called to where you're wasting time where you're not prioritizing the right things because five of cups talks about a loss right it talks about um really reveling on these three cups that are pouring out right where you're making mistakes or where you've made mistakes or where you've lost things and you're overlooking completely those two cups in the back that are filling over those opportunities for prosperity that you need to be conscious of, right? Your, your dreams are calling your attention to where you can win, where you can see success, right? And I heard the words with ease and grace, okay? So let's see. Um, right, I, this is a, okay, okay. The general message so far, this is a pile of your, your dreams, the signs, everything you're seeing, right? The coincidences are trying to help you shift your perspective, right? You are likely a glass half empty individual, right? We're, we're trying to show you where the dreams are half full, right? Where, 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 the, where the world is half full, sorry, where it's actually, the cups are actually spilling over, right? So instead of a completely empty or half empty cup where you're looking, there are full spilling over cups within your vicinity that you're either too pessimistic to realize or you just don't have the capacity to see because you don't realize so you're being supported divinely like okay go here go here do this right that that's really what it is so really pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities that you see and where you feel called to go and do an act because it, it seems like you're not really in the space to find it on your own okay which is not a bad thing you know in the grand scheme we're in this pile because it means like you have support your spirit team is like hey we got you do what we're telling you to do okay via your dreams okay we got the knight of pentacles in reverse so especially when we talk about things that don't seem like they're working too slow to move right because the knight of pentacles is really efficient the knight of pentacles is the slowest of the knights because of how efficient it is, right? It's like, I'm gonna plan, I'm gonna organize, and when I move, I'm gonna move in the best way because it's real, right? Like, it makes sense. In reverse, it talks about the opposite of that. It talks about either being stuck, it talks about not being rounded, right? It talks about um, not having a foundation, not being stable, right? Like, that's kind of where we are here, okay? In this energy so let me see yeah four of cups does talk about discontentment it does talk about disinterest it does talk about um, avoidance right so your dreams are calling your attention to what you're avoiding right in all of the best and worst ways like opportunities things that could be great where you're not seeing it because of your pessimistic pessimistic attitude or energy um and it's not like necessarily your nature you could just be discouraged and not feeling good right when we're discontent when we're bored where we're disengaged it's usually where things have been going wrong where we kind of start losing faith so it feels like 
the signs you're, you're getting are to help you have faith, right? To restore your faith, to put you in position to where you see tangible results, where you have not, right? To make you feel a lot better. That's what we've got here. So look at you. We got the Six of Swords, which talks about ascension. It talks about a broadened perspective. It talks about growth. It talks about development. It talks about all of the great things that happen when we're willing to move beyond certain things, like that Five of Cups, right? When you're willing to move beyond your limitations, when you're willing to grow beyond your perspective, when you're willing to experience beyond what you know, that's this okay so that's why you're seeing whatever you're seeing the way you're seeing it okay because consciously um you're not at your most prosperous even if you're seeing success it's like okay let's take it a step further with that six of swords and you will be able to see even more than you even realize with that knight of pentacles right like you haven't you knight of pentacles is like you can't even plan for this right um, not saying your planning doesn't work where you're doing it or that you shouldn't where you need to organize. It's just saying Six of Swords is journeying to a new place, new space, mentally, physically, however, and you don't even know the blessings that await you there. Right? There we go. So let me pull from these um, tarot. I mean, these astrology based decks. I've got two. I've got... Um, some guidance oracles and then I will get you advice so tell me what I keep seeing and it's not on the table rest some of you if you're not sleeping like you just need rest you're tired that's what's making you grouchy like because the pessimistic perspective is just a polite way to say grouchy like some of you are really grouchy in a way that's like um that's too many. Some of you are really grouchy in a way that it's limiting you and your ability to see success, whether we're talking about um, you self-sabotaging connections, um, whether it's easily getting discouraged so you're not able to follow through with certain things, whether it is um, just always expecting the worst so you don't even give yourself a chance to even be prosperous, things like that, okay? So let me see. Tell me what... My power one's dreams are trying to tell them. Okay, we'll take them both. We're trying to make you a little more confident, a little more optimistic, like we've been talking about, a little more passionate, a little more brave, okay? So that's that's the message, okay? So what's this? What's this? Um, we've got fixed sign, stability, persistence, loyalty, dependability. Well, the, I mentioned that Knight of Pentacles is the opposite of this energy. So being very firm, letter F could be relevant, very firm, very confident, very passionate, right? Um, follow through, right? Not easily discouraged, okay? This is grounded energy. This is passion grounding into action, right? It's inspiration. So that's that's what we've got. So... We've got Mercury, which supports consciousness, right? So Mercury talks about thinking, learning, networking, and communicating, okay? So that's that's what we've got here. Talks about messages. So you're getting a lot of messages. Where you're sleeping and dreaming, you're actively getting messages. Where you're seeing signs and synchronicities, those are real messages, okay? Like, don't overreact to those in a way where you start thinking everything you see is a sign, but the signs you do see, right, that are recurring enough to where it doesn't make sense, they're they're leading you, okay? So tell me what my power number one dreams are trying to tell them. Angel numbers, synchronicities, and things like that. Give me one more from this deck. Take the bottom and then I'll get that. Yeah, so we got more fire sign energy um, on this card. We've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Leo is on the table again. And then here we have Sagittarius. So I mentioned brought in perspective earlier. Well, here you go, right? Full moon and Sagittarius actually wasn't that long ago. So we could be talking about the recent past or current energy, regardless of when you find it, okay? So I'll put this here. And then we've got... um. Show the world the real you, full moon, and Aquarius. So expanding, broadened perspective, right? 
this is outdoor energy like doesn't have to be like wilderness or like nature but just um be a little more engaging right that's that's the energy here so if you're more of a hermit with the four of cups which is kind of like that disengaged energy if you have that then it you know talks about broadening perspective and going out a little more with the six of swords and, and the full moon in Sagittarius and obviously that full moon in Aquarius is a little more um engaging networking based energy which is also here with this fixed sign energy okay so being a little more uh, collaborative right networking more some of you actually um you're being encouraged to network where you are not okay so let me see what else is on the table hmm. your dreams are really showing you where you have the potential to shine okay so let me let me see let me get from these decks and i do have two more after these two so we can really see what's going on give me a card from this deck what are my pound number one dreams angel number of synchronicities trying to tell them learning growth and development are major themes okay The seas of Mensaka. Okay, seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. So show the world the real you, bringing unconsciousness to light, seeing potential. So again, it's all about your perspective. So honestly, I see now whatever, if you're having issues or where you're like, okay, I'm doing great, but I could be doing a lot better. It's all about your perspective and seeing the potential and then going after it. Like seeing the potential and going after it in the most optimistic way. Okay, that's... What you're being encouraged to do. We've got double mission, light worker, star seed, serve the world by being you. Look at the bigger picture. There's something you're being very narrow minded regarding, right? Show the world the real you, serve the world by being you. That's an energy. It's is You're being for sure encouraged to be a little more engaging with other people if that's been a thing that you've not been doing, okay? When it comes to engaging with other people, have to, have to. Um, I mean, you don't have to, but it's for the best. You'll see the most success doing that. Okay. So let me get another one from this. I don't think this is going to be very long. I don't feel like much came from this pile. It's like, okay, do what I'm telling you to do. Be more positive and optimistic. Be a little more inspired. Oh, and by the way, like network, go outside, right? We have break the chain. Um, it says ancestral patterns, healing, and rewriting future. So that's definitely a thing. I'll get another good shuffle. Okay, pile number one. There we go. So... I really don't know what this is. I have not researched this deck, but um, Mintaka, right? And Mintakan, that's a thing. So if you know what that is, tell me. If not, then somebody Google it and tell us all. I don't know what that is. Mint could be relevant, but um, I mean, I guess your donut actually kind of looks like a mint a little bit. It reminds me of like Tic Tacs. I'm not gonna lie. But whatever that is, let me know what this is, okay? But we do have, again, seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light, and then longing for home belonging. So some of you, um, you're being led to home, okay? That's for sure. That's for sure. Okay? And it is sea. So something about water, something about seas. I do have, like, ocean, sea, mermaid readings if you're interested. Some of you may have messages there. Um, don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? So look at the bigger picture. Show the world the real you. So serve the world by being you. Some of you like go outside. It could be as simple as that. Others of you are holding back, right? Some of you are, you're holding back. Like your pure consciousness will lead to prosperity. So the way you are, the who you are, how you are, and the way you operate, right? do do what is natural to you right where you see potential right just be your authentic self i know everybody says that but seriously do not dim to fit in show the world the real you okay 
And by being you, you'll achieve this double mission. You'll accomplish a lot more than you realize. Like some of you, just by being you and the way you operate and doing the things that make you you, you'll see success simply in that way. And it won't even feel like projects, tasks, and things like that. Okay? I'm so serious. I know that sounds too good for, for a group like this. But if you do what you feel called to do in the way you feel called to do it, like, for example, chase the academic projects right that you want right learn the things you're interested in develop the talents that you're interested in right go for the career paths that you're interested in okay do those things right but you have to go all in you have to be optimistic you have to be inspired and you have to build right when you do that you're going to see a lot of success you'll be doing something you enjoy and then you'll see a lot of success and where people are naturally prioritizing their talents, you benefit other people as well. So you, you fulfill that double mission of supporting the world, right? With your light, quote unquote, but also doing what you want, right? And how you wanna. So I could be talking about a variety of things here. You find yourself in this story, okay? So let me pull from this other deck and then I will get your advice and we'll close it out. Tell me more about my pile. Number one, what are the dreams trying to tell them? Angel numbers, synchronicities, all the things you do have cast away negativity. I talk about optimism. I did. So give me a message for this group. I mean, if you if you remember one thing, it's be optimistic. Stop being so negative. Okay. <clears throat> and I might be talking too much because I got a little bit of a rasp in my chest, not even my throat. So work on your heart space because that could be why okay all right my pile number one what are your dreams telling you angel number there we go look at you we got leadership with the tiger so we got leadership don't dim to fit in look at the bigger picture okay and then um here with prosperity we've got good fortune look at you your dreams are literally teaching you they're leading you to good fortune okay they're telling you to take leadership towards right accountability effort towards your good fortune right literally waiting for you okay so let me get your advice and we will close it out if you don't feel like this is long enough then i don't know what to tell you because the, the messages were obviously easier said than done right but the messages were clear right you got um signs you've been seeing the signs some of you already know the signs you just wanted confirmation about the signs so give me advice okay we've got two maturing energies of advice so things you're already working on or things you should have been working on already and then i'll get one for what else is coming in that the dream like for what the dreams are trying to tell you right advice what the dreams are trying to tell you all right well that's a reversal so line yap i'm telling you they're trying your dreams are trying to put you on game like they like that's inspiration line up is a little bit extra like they're trying to give you a boost they're trying to give you an edge okay so let me see what you should be doing yeah you've already been doing it a lot of you in the best sense in the in the, in the most shadow side of this pile it's just a push to get to it right keep going create your reality everything we've been talking about keep going create your reality so if you've already been doing that good for you keep going right keep creating your reality keep building your life if you've not you should have been doing it already and that's okay that's why the dreams are pushing you along this is your support keep going create your reality okay that is your advice now what what's going on here intuition they're showing you what you can't see they're showing you where you're not using your intuition where you're not fi following your intuition right in reverse right your dreams are trying to tell you you're not trusting your instincts you're not trusting your intuition you're not seeing clearly you're not fully conscious that's what they're telling you okay so keep going keep manifesting keep creating your reality there's a little bit extra where you do okay so that is all i have for you today my pile number one hopefully it resonated if it did please like 
comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay in the know on the content we post here on this channel. Thank you for watching. All right, pile number two. Let's see what your dreams are trying to tell you, why you may not be sleeping, your angel numbers, synchronicities, and all of the things. So for those of you that are new here, I read and channel past, present, as well as incoming energy. I do read from a polarity, which means there's a light as well as a shadow. You just have to find yourself in the lesson and the journey. Now, I cleanse your decks for your power, right? And you picked that really cute pink donut. I like it for you. Um, and it's not a gender specific thing. Everybody is welcome, but this is my group. Like you were called to that donut because look at the cards, right? That came at the bottom of the reset, right? Universal love, divine feminine. So already you're, you're opening up more. You're becoming a lot more receptive, a lot more loving, possibly more nurturing, right? Like you're, you're really developing your divine feminine side, right? That's where we become less aggressive, less active, and or not aggressive in a negative sense, but more like go-getter, like very active, push, push, drive, and receiving, where we talk about receiving support, receiving um, guidance, receiving wisdom, receiving blessings. That's where we are here, receiving love, right? Universally, especially when we talk about the divine energy, when we talk about God-like energy. So look at you. So I'm going to a card to see specifically what it is that your your dreams and all of the symbolism around you are trying to tell you for my pile number two all right give me an overview for my pink donuts there we go a maturing energy at that so what's that remembrance okay number 38 so the frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul and body providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life so downloads we talk about downloads right we talk about our memories we talk about our experiences and how Historically, the things that have happened have benefited us where, where it hasn't benefited us and how to proceed going forward. I like it. I like it because it talks about clearing energy. It talks about healing, right? We talk about being a soul in a body, right? Experiencing things on the 3D. Some of you are actually healing phys physically, right? Whether we talk about injuries, whether we talk about sicknesses, whether we talk about... Um, just trauma in general and the way that it's stored in the body and your body re responds to it that's that's what's happening to you as you're sleeping or would be if you were um and and no but but some of you are most likely having a lot of dreams about the past people from the past past experiences that you're clearing that you healing that you growing that you developing so we like to see it here okay so let me see some of you are taking it a step further. You're having dreams about past lives. Look at you. Very dynamic, very exciting dreams, okay? Um, it says the frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. It helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new with ease, grace, and great joy. So. What I really like about this combination, I mentioned downloads. I mentioned kind of um, think of your think. You know, this is kind of think of your soul, your your body, your mind, all of those as like a computer, right? And it's basically like storing all of the data, right, and processing all of the data. And like this is what I'm gonna use to run. This is what I'm gonna use to like compute something else, right? And we talk about like AI and all the things like. Like, I know that's not what you are, but like, let's just hypothetically, right? Because it's saying we take things that are familiar and completely new, right? We talk about our memories, like how we use our past to define our future, right? What worked, what didn't, right? Things like that. And where we talk about your dreams, some of you are having a weird hybrid of dreams where you're dreaming of the past, 
but it's only because your recollection your recollection is only what you have right when we talk about our limited perspective and our ability to see going forward being limited based on what we've already experienced like you only know what you've experienced some of you because of your mind like that you're having dreams of like a lot of past situations and people but it's really of the future but you don't have a future to reference if that makes sense where you're not psychic or even if you are right if you're not developed in that like that's kind of what we're, we're getting like you you've got experiences coming in that your dreams and the symbols are preparing you for and while it seems familiar it's not i don't know how to describe that but that's kind of where we are what we are so let me let me keep pulling these cards what's my pound number two's dream trying to you're definitely receiving messages i'll tell you that for sure okay but very colorful very exciting very dynamic dreams some of you may like jump out of your sleep um because your dreams are so excitingly chaotic and it can be shadow like some of you may have really scary dreams or like like i'm feeling like, like maybe like even ptsd where you're like jumping out of your sleep because like you're remembering certain things definitely get support where you need that okay so let me let me see tell me more about my pound number two okay so the three of pentacles talks about collaboration and cooperation and then the ten of wands talks about max out overwhelming energy so some of you have like an overextending energy right um in collective spaces and that may be clearing like plain as day and even if you don't there's somewhere you're overextending where it should be a collective effort you may not realize it yet right like there's a there's a collective group energy here where you're overextending and that could that doesn't have to be like situational it could be internal right like you could be overextending your thoughts right right you could be overextending your emotions right um you could be stressing out certain parts of your body watch that go see the doctor where you're not feeling well because for whatever reason i'm getting a collaboration of the different parts different organs and such of the body um where you're stressing yourself out right physically in certain parts right like if you're if you're experiencing that in certain parts of the body go see a doctor because this 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 combination is strain right it talks about strain okay so watch that especially where we have a history of that here okay so let me see let me see yeah so um the moon is our emotions it's the, the unseen it rules dreams right it rules um our, our the aspects of ourselves we don't necessarily want to face we have that here it rules your past it rules past lives it rules everything spiritual and woo woo <laughs> right because it's pisces energy so it talks about all those things your hidden strengths your hidden weaknesses um, your hidden friends, your hidden enemies, everything falls here and we talk about the night time, okay? So some of you may be night owls, some of you stay up all night remembering things, whether we're talking about like actual memories or just reflecting on the day and the things you need to do tomorrow, things like that. Stop that. It's You're stressing yourself out. Go to bed. All right. Two of Wands, yeah, stop staying up and planning. Go to sleep where you do that. I don't care if it's something you enjoy, something you like, you're overextending, right? You're straining yourself because our body uses sleep to rest and recover. If you're not sleeping, you're not resting and recovering. You're not in the clearest mental perspective to even do the things you're trying to do. So go to bed. <laughs> like, I'm like, go to bed. Okay, so um, what I like, planning, structure organizing where you're sleeping and the dreams are just colorful right um healing your body is restoring itself your mind is clearing right where you have psychic gifts they're developing right um where you allow yourself to sleep peacefully knowing you wake up very clear notice that when you get your best sleep you wake up very clear right i see that okay because this is a lot of energy that's clearing 
that's transmuting, that's downloading as you're sleeping, right? Like some of you are truly developing on a subconscious level as you're sleeping in the best way, okay? So make sure you're getting enough rest, okay? And sleep where you're tired. So let me keep pulling these cards. This is restorative energy, okay? So tell me more about my pile. Number two, please. Look at this, the planet that rules that moon card. So tell me what are my pile number two dreams trying to say. Angel numbers, synchronicities, all of the stuff. Okay, well... Um, in it, it did feel. I'm gonna take it like it did, because Neptune in reverse talks about clarity. Upright, we talk about dreaming and transcending, right? Um, now the, you know, we, I reference illusions, I reference fantasy. So in reverse, it can talk about clarity, but that's also calling some of you out, like where you're not dreaming. You're like, I don't have dreams, but I am seeing angel numbers. I am seeing synchronicities. It's telling you to go sleep, like go to sleep. Literally, you're not dreaming. You're not transcending. If you're not dreaming, you're not transcending. Like go to sleep where you're not sleeping. And if you need support, then obviously there are professionals to see. Okay. Um, especially where you have past experience where like I'm saying go to sleep some of you is truly not that easy some of you have trauma that's stopping you from sleeping so you need support go get the support you need so that you can at least at least temporarily help you sleep right because you need it okay by you not sleeping it's wearing down your body with the three of pentacles right that's all of the parts of your body Ten of Wands is maxed out energy. The moon is you don't even realize that you're like straining your body. And especially if you're the type that like doesn't sleep and then tries to be very physically active. Ooh, that's not good. Stop that. Okay? Stop that. Because you'll hurt yourself. Okay? So yeah, that's what we've got here. Now, I like it in the lighter sense because clarity, right? Neptune is usually illusions. Things you don't really understand. Things that aren't clear. Where you're sleeping. Where you're dreaming. Things are clearing, things that are confusing, things that have been confusing, right, are clearing, okay? And we have, um, especially when we talk about challenging situations, right, because the square does rule challenging situations, a mountain to climb, where you're getting adequate rest, you're finding solutions, we're getting resolutions to issues, right? Things that feel like a mountain, you find how to make it easier, right? and you keep your body strong enough to climb another day, right? That's what we talk about here. So let me pull this other deck. All right. Tell me more about my pile number two. Conclusions are within reach, right? The hard part is almost over, I heard, okay? That's way too many. Ah, we'll take it. Why not? I don't care. Like, I was like, oh, that's a lot. You're having, some of you having a lot of dreams in one sitting. Um, some of you have a lot of dreams that are overwhelming you. Because um, I did not want three cards, but it's not, it, I mean, it, it takes more effort to reshuffle. So we've got, it's time to release negativity with the, new moon, with the full moon in Scorpio. Sorry. Um, releasing negativity does talk about um, that purge I mentioned where you're healing and clearing past energies and past traumas and things like that. Um, and also where you're like having really chaotic dreams where it's waking you up and keeping you awake and anxious. I see some of you doing that because some of you, that's why you're not sleeping. It's saying it's time to release that and where you truly cannot by yourself go see somebody. Okay. So we've got um, the fiery climax approaches with full moon and Aries. Both of these are, um, this is Pluto, but they're both Martian energy. So honestly, like I, I honestly can see, like when we talk about, like, I don't want to make it a, a thing, but um, even those of you where this specific instance is not a thing, take it as an analogy. It feels like war, right? Mars has got a war, Aries has got a war, and Scorpio is very associated with that. And with this remembrance, so like just where we talk about veterans and things like that, go get the treatment you need where you see really traumatic things you experience traumatic things okay definitely where you have a lot of trauma right even if that's not the literal situation for you something traumatic you need to get that taken care of where it's stopping you from sleeping where you're sleeping fine and the dreams are just weird let it like let it ride okay 
like you're you're healing you're clearing and things like that okay um and and but for those of you where it is that because it's varying polarities i always mention polarities where it's so, so extreme that you truly cannot sleep where you're living in chaos right don't let your pride get in your way okay we've got all full moons scorpio aries and leo two of them are fixed signs two of them are fire signs which talks about um being stubborn stop that okay because again it's time to release negativity a fiery climax approaches don't let your pride get in your way that's a message for those of you where it's you you may need an additional support now where you're not your dreams are like releasing negativity you're gonna have a lot of passion a lot of energy soon where you're sleeping because some of you are not sleeping at all some of you are like why am i so tired like you're you're tired because you need rest you're healing and things like that so what happens is you're releasing negativity and you'll have so much energy soon that it's like go so don't let your pride get in your way where you're actually tired and can sleep like let yourself get the rest you need like some of you are like oh but i don't want to go to bed early too bad go to bed earlier right take a nap do the things you have to do to prioritize your health right because we want to we want to lengthen our lifespans here so get your rest get your rest and get support where you truly cannot okay um signs and synchronicities i'm like struggling to breathe some of you like really hyperventilate or some of you um what's that called when you when you struggle with your breathing and sleep go to the doctor okay go to the doctor some of like i can't oh like is it sleep apnea oh i don't know help me in the comments where you know even if it's i'm not talking about you if you know what i'm talking about say it for the people that don't know okay um but some of you may have that so go to the doctor okay all right so let me keep pulling these cards i want to mention okay scorpio talks about debts inheritances it does rule death so like where we have those types of dreams like some of you if you're having dreams like that talk about like death and funerals that's a rebirth within yourself okay where we're talking about things that have actually happened that's trauma again everything i've said before either go get support or heal where you actually have it under control but um, where you're experiencing death in dreams that's not real, it's actually just you clearing energy, like parts of yourself dying, right? Um, and then we talk about all of this energy, all of this war. You may be dreaming of that where it's memories. Again, seek professional support or let it ride where it's under control, right? That's you kind of at war with yourself, battling to become a more authentic version of yourself. Um and you're also being supported with, with where we talk about pride, right? Um, this is identity. This is personality, right? Who you are, right? Those could be themes of your dreams or themes like you're questioning that. You may be on the path of self-discovery. Um, but Leo does talk about joy, pleasure, okay? It talks about excitement, entertainment, all of those things. So let me pull... Okay, and it talks about incorporating more of that into your life, in, in your day-to-day, -day, okay? Because some of you are not enjoying life enough. That's a thing. That's a thing. Hi, right, let me get a card from this. What's my pile number two is being trying to tell them? It's a maturing energy. You've got to. Um, courageous peony. Hey, I don't have this flower, but I think I was trying to add it to one of the secret admirer readings. So... If you've seen it, then like go for it. But like, I, I I plan to add it at some point. I don't know when. Okay, but it says multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen, and then it has karmic relationships. Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. There's more conflict. We talk about uh polarity, and then um. Hmm. I saw the word Orion earlier, and I don't know where, but doesn't matter. Karmic relationships. Some of you may be healing from that, okay? And it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be any types of connections, right? Any types of partnerships from any setting or situation, okay? That you're healing from, okay? Look at you. So you're growing and evolving as a person. You're gaining a lot of courage, okay? 
and you have called soul gifts and training it's time to step up so call does talk about call to action your dreams the signs synchronicities are definitely a call to action to address whatever all of the things are i told you also where i mentioned it's not chaotic in a scary way where you don't need support it's just downloads it's just supporting your call to sleep a little more right you're downloading you're becoming a little more psychic even where you're not going to be like that like everybody's not going to be me or other people like me it's just saying becoming a little more intuitive um comprehending a little bit better becoming a little more stable a little more grounded right and trusting your instincts right so let me slide this over i'll put this one over here we can see we can see a pull from this other deck some of you do um your vibration is rising okay we mentioned releasing negativity. We have that here, okay? Okay, tell me more about my pile number two. What are the dreams trying to tell them? Angel numbers and synchronicities, please. at me i'm like struggling i'm gonna take that one but I, I will let you see these you are birthing a new age okay birthing new creations dreaming a new world into being okay and crumbling is what are you clinging to it feels like a little bit of a tower on the most shadow sense but it's for the best it's kind of like shadow work and and, and becoming like okay like we talk about um the caterpillar becoming the butterfly yes just say yes um some of you don't let pride in your way there's something you need to say yes to right could be support okay could be releasing right could be a new beginning okay um but we do have what did i tell you fill up your well retreat rest refuel y'all don't listen okay do what i'm telling you to do watch this more than once if you need to right or you need support go get it because you can't sleep and you're not able to on your own where you're able to on your own but you're avoiding it because you want to do other things like stay up and think stop um where you're sleeping but you're still tired take the naps sleep a little more allow your body to do what you need to do okay because you need rest you need to refuel okay this is a pile of healing energy okay all right so what is this Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. Some of you already know what I'm talking about, but the dreams actually are telling you, they're guiding you, they're leading you. So the messages that you get, the messages you remember, like listen to them, okay? Because your guidance is divinely guided. And the support you're seeing in terms of like angel numbers, synchronicities and things like that, that's support, that's divine support leading you somewhere, okay? So let me get... I have one more deck and then I'll pull for your advice. So tell me my final messages from my pile number two. What are the dreams, synchronicities, angel numbers? Tell me my pile number two, please. Balancing out so you can find happiness for sure. Tell me more about my pile number two. What are the dreams trying to tell them? Angel numbers, synchronicities, please. Um, your intuition for sure you're being encouraged to listen to your intuition um, you're being encouraged towards some type of union it's going to be different for all of you some of you is going to be like family some of you are going to be friends some of you is going to be professional um, social right networking some of you is going to be romantic but there is some sort of a union um, your intuition is guiding you too okay so don't be hard-headed, okay? Especially with the call and, and the, letting pride get in your way, okay? Look at that. Intuition and dreams, okay? Your intuition, two t intuition two times. Look at you. Happiness is still here. I have a sunflower pile. I recently did, but look at that third eye. Intuition, two times. You're that group that needs to be told thing multiple times. Even with the moon, there's an eye. There's a third eye, see? So you've got three eyes third eye number three could be relevant in some way but um you got the dream card in the dream reading some of you are going to pile number four because of all of the blue look at you tell me my advice for my pile number two please 
aisle number two. Okay. Well, look at you. Um, make a wish. Make a wish. Your advice is to make a wish. Go on an adventure. Talk about joy, pleasure, being excited about life. Go on an adventure. See life as an adventure. Okay. That's your advice. And then um, your final message for what the dreams are telling you to be grateful right express gratitude and pay attention to the divine guidance you get right you have you're seeing the signs right your dreams are literally doubling down on all of the signs you're seeing like listen to what we're telling you to listen to right be grateful express gratitude and go on a great adventure okay so that is all i have for you today my pile number two hopefully it resonated if it did please like comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay in the know on the content we post here on this channel. Thank you for watching. All right, pile number three. You're the group that keeps seeing um, the repeating numbers with a one in the middle, right? Like, so 616, 313, 818, like you're seeing those types of numbers for sure, okay? Um, but yeah, let's see what your dreams are trying to tell you. Any angel numbers, right? Like I mentioned some synchronicities, things like that. Um, for those of you that are new, I do read in channel, past, present, as well as incoming energy. I do read from a polarity, which means there's a light as well as a shadow. You just have to find yourself in the lesson, in the journey, okay? So let me see what's going on here with you and your dreams, um, where you're sleeping, um what the symbols mean where you see them around right so let me see tell me about my pile three this is the um i mean technically pile two is like could be the lot of stone on it maybe even four but this one's interesting okay because it's caramel color it's M&M's, right? It's M&M's crumbled up and put on top. So it's like, I want an extra treat. So this is a pile of wanting an extra treat. Look at you. Look at you. Tell me about my pile number three. What are their dreams? Okay, there we go. I don't know if that's going to be reverse. I don't know if it's going to be upright. Ooh, it is reverse. I can tell. Something about the details, right? Because I'm holding the deck upright and this sparkly line is in reverse. So what is that? We got emergence. Oh, well, your dreams are talking about for sure where you're suppressing things, whether we're talking about memories, whether we're talking about emotions, where we're talking about like whatever it is you're suppressing. It could truly just be your authentic self, right? The number 25, the emergence. So it is the frequency of emergence invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from that place. You're not doing that or... Um, you're over it doing that, okay? So when we talk about emerging, right? This is a lack of emergence that we're talking about. <clears throat> That's what the signs are trying to tell you, okay? And we've got fertility, look at you. Yeah, there's a lot of creative energy in you that's not, like you're not, you're, you're keeping it bottled up, right? Like you're, you're hiding, right? whether you realize it or not, okay, with that emergence in reverse. So fertility does talk about being more open, more courageous, more creative, more joyful than we were before. It activates the potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness into a new and grander expression of ourselves. New and grander, grander, grander expression of ourselves. Talks about emerging, okay? <clears throat> Talks about emerging. So look at you. Okay, that's what we're supposed to be doing it for this group. Um, that's what we're supposed to be doing for this group, okay? All right, got the Empress at the bottom. Actually, the third card of your deck, um, the number three major arcana, and you are pile three, okay? I'm not taking it, but it, it definitely wanted our attention, okay? So tell me more about my pile number three. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Any angel numbers, synchronicities, symbols, things like that. Okay. 
pile number three. What are the dreams trying to tell you? I mean, I feel like your energy was pretty straightforward. So this should not be a long pile unless we have to get into the weeds of it. Um, tell me more about my pile number three. Discontentment, boredom, disengaged. That's you. Because you're not emerging, right? Because emergence in reverse. There's a lot of creativity. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot that you're not expressing right whether you're just choosing not to whether circumstances don't allow you to um whatever mental space situation or setting where that's putting you in this energy it's not gonna work okay um you have to do whatever you have to do okay so let me keep pulling these cards tell me more about what my, my pile number three's dreams are trying to tell them there's so much more you have, you could be doing. You have so much more potential than is being, than you're utilizing, okay? Yeah, that clarity of, of understanding that, okay? The Ace of Swords talks about knowing, right? Understanding that potential, right? There's so much, because emergence in reverse talks about potential, right? Actuality is when you emerge, right? Any, anything we don't do is just a potential to do. Right, that, that's what I mean. So when we talk about potential versus what is, right? Because potential and fertility, being fertile does not mean you create life, right? And that could be any area. It doesn't have to be literal, but you, you can be as fertile as you want to be, but if you never create life, there's no emergence. You see what I'm saying? So that's why we have to disengage energy and the clarity of realizing what needs to be done for that emergence to upright itself, okay? So let me see an overwhelming energy. So here's what's happening with you, okay? Whether it's dreams, symbols, synchronicities, you're ignoring that, whether you consciously are or like I, some of you may not realize you're doing it, but you are, okay? Where you're hiding or just sitting in potential, right? You're just sitting in potential, right? Because I mentioned, you're not it doesn't mean anything be as fertile as you want to be have as much potential as you want to have if you never do anything with it, it it means absolutely nothing it's always what could have been right what would have been so versus what is the clarity of fully realizing with the ten of wands because ten of wands maxed out energy overstimulated energy right it's the clarity of fully realizing that fact or where you're doing that where you've been doing that or where you need to stop doing that and where you're a little further along in this pile because i'm wrenching past present incoming seeing where you historically did that and you're not anymore you're no longer disengaged you have the clarity of how to put all of this energy right because ten of wands could also be potential it's so much energy that you do nothing with it right ten reduces to one you see what I'm saying? So it's an ending and a beginning. So all of all of this energy, all of this potential, what do you do with it? And I don't know what area of life I'm talking about, but here we are, here you go, okay? Knight of Pentacles, here we are, here we go. Talks about grounding. Ten, the Knight of Pentacles always has a plan, right? Six of Cups, when we talk about past, you know? It's easy to get wrapped up into the past because that is where potential sits, right? Sometimes people don't emerge into their full selves, their full selves or their full potential, right? <laughs> because they they, fo they focus on and, con and concentrate on the past and what they didn't do there or what they could have done there versus writing it in the present, right? In the present and experiencing the present is where you put that potential into action so that eventually you emerge, right? Or you emerge now so that later it's no longer potential, right? That That's that's the theme. But the Knight of Pentacles is slow. It's a slow, it's stable, building, growing, evolving, right? It's, it talks about being careful not to be too slow in that, so much so that it sits in potential, right? It talks about planning, over planning, things like that, right? 
to where you never actually create and build, there you go. Okay, so that's where you're being guided to not. Um, now, the other side of that is having a firm foundation, a stable foundation, right? So that you don't fizzle out with that ten of wands, right? Because without a stable foundation, potential and action fizzles out very quickly, right? So let me keep pulling this cards. It's a lot talking. This is a pile of needing a lot of talking to. <laughs> it's interesting. So tell me more about this um, pile number three. What are the things? Angel number synchronicity is telling me pile number three, please. War reversal. What is that? Conjunction. A union merging coming together. Well, where you're out of alignment, right? Where you're not emerging. Emergence and reverse could be hiding um, from unions, right? Of any kind, platonic or romantic. Because um, fertility talks about that. So conjunction is telling you where you're not merging appropriately, where you're not coming together appropriately, where you're not in union. It's also calling your attention to unions you may be avoiding or just not engaging in and things like that, okay? We've got Mercury, think, learn, network, and communicate. So when we talk about communicating, um, when we talk about certain um, partnerships, unions, could be romantic, could be family-based, where you're not engaging, where you're disconnected, talks about communicating there, right? That may be encouragement and communicating and whatever connections we're talking about versus being disengaged, okay? Some of you are a little bit overwhelmed and that's the clarity of knowing you need to engage in certain energies. So let me pull from this. Tell me more about my pile number three. What are their dreams telling them? Um, you are good enough for sure. Um, angel numbers, synchronicities, things like that. I keep seeing the two Libra cards. So definitely when we talk about partnerships and relationships of all kinds, those are key things, okay, that your attention is being called to, okay? So tell me my pile number three. Let's flip it and see if that helps. Yeah, flipping a perspective may help, okay? Prosperity lies ahead. Look at you, new moon and Taurus. That's actually the sign that rules that empress that we saw um at the beginning so look at you but prosperity does lie ahead we talk about grounding stabilizing in all things we talk about self-worth value your assets your money those are things okay here we have um the don't let your past hold you back with that south node i mentioned that that dwelling on the past um potential of the past it is what it is focus on the now the, the present and where you're going right so let me See, tell me more about what's my pile number three's dreams telling you? What are your dreams telling you? Angel numbers, synchronicities, Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. I feel like that's some of you already know what your dreams are telling you. You're just here for confirmation, but I'll get one more because I feel like even though that card wanted to be seen, it was cheating a little bit. Confidence is your key to success. That's for sure. But let me get one more. Okay, I'll take it. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So you know what yeah, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me to read it. Okay, it says don't let your past be back. I know sometimes it's, certain things are scary, like certain decisions are scary because you have your guidance is divinely guided, and if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So it feels like a, you kind of know what's going on. You just want confirmation. You know what I'm saying? So what's this? The great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits. So try. Okay. So look at you, you're being called to your soul tribe. Um, it did fall in reverse, 
At the bottom here, you have your not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true, no, no, true north, south node. So when we talk about past situations, past people, past collective spaces, that wasn't your tribe, that wasn't your space, right? Doesn't have to be a bad thing. It just wasn't your space, right? Since we have all of this past energy, right? You're not for everyone and that's okay. Um, but it's all coming together. So let me get... Tell me more about my pile number three. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Hmm. What are your dreams trying to tell you? My pile number three, your angel numbers, synchronicities, signs. A lot. We'll take it. Seven star sisters, birthing creations, tapestry of life expression. Express that's fertility. We're birthing creations. We're merging. Right? Number seven could be relevant. Letter S could be relevant. We have a new earth that says it's happening. Keep holding the vision. Okay. A new earth, a new life, a new experience, okay? A whole new world, like Aladdin, all right? So let me, um, you got the bottom of your reset, divine guidance. Your guidance is divinely guided. Um, we do have cut ties when I split the deck. So let me pull, this is my last deck, and then I will pull your advice as well as what else is coming in. We've got cut ties and prioritizing financial security here. We have success. So tell me more about my pound number three. What are your dreams trying to tell you? All right. That Luna, which is the moon, your emotions, your intuition, things like that. It's actually a full moon as I'm filming this, so that could be a relevant time. We have overcome fear. Um, overcome fear for sure, okay? And prioritize your emotions and really pay attention to what's going on with you. Okay, so tell me, um, my pile number three, what are your dreams trying to tell you? Angel numbers, synchronicity, please. Okay, this is your advice. You got two. Let me get the one that tells you what your dreams are trying to tell you or where you're seeing symbols and angel numbers. Well, they're trying to tell you to step into your power for sure. They're telling you to prioritize companionship, okay? Prioritizing companionship in your power. So what is your advice regarding this? Well, listen, three, three, three. Look at you, pal, three. Three, three, three. You're definitely seeing that number, but it says to let loose Mardi Gras on Bourbon Street, right? And to create your reality with this dragonfly, okay? So three, 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 look at you look at you so that's what you need to do enjoy your life and all the things um but they're calling your attention to your power and your companions companionship so your power and your collective spaces um being fertile and emerging where you need to okay so that is all i have for you today my pile number three hopefully it resonated if it did please like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay in a note on the content we post there on this channel Thank you for watching. All right, pile number four. Let's see what your dreams are trying to tell you. Any angel numbers you're seeing. If you're not sleeping, any synchronicities you may be seeing. All of the things like that, okay? So for those of you that are new here, I read and channel past, present, as well as incoming energy. I do read from a polarity, which means there's a light as well as a shadow. You just have to find yourself in the lesson in the journey so let's see what this blue donut has to say let's see let's see we got communication we got Gaia hey look at you um some of you may be coming from pile one but there's a lot of blue here a lot of green so communication and Gaia tell me let me get one good card from my pile number four 
What's my power? Okay. Well, uh, that's exciting. That's exciting. It says the light. Um, and it supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we invoke in others. So your dreams like are telling you like they're trying to help you feel happy or they're trying to tell you what you need to do to make yourself happy. So it's calling your attention to where it would make you happy, right? Like, so some of you like, <laughs> you, I don't know if you're like on, on weird diets and things like that, but just watch your, your diet. Cause some of you, you may be like um, dreaming of, I heard food and like, you're just, you're hungry because whatever dietary shift you made, it's just, there needs to be an adjustment so that you're like getting what you need things like that right so like you know what would make you happy right if you're dreaming of things that would make you make you happy or your attention is being called to what would make you feel joy and happiness i like it because even in a sense where you're dreaming of things that you may not currently currently have available to you or that you're not doing right um it's showing you where you could be better where you're going to feel really good so great energy here you got soul time and it says the frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge. One that embraces the concept that while the corporeal body is immortal, the soul is timeless, limitless, and infinite. So some of you have that dream where you're like falling out of the sky, like landing in your bed, things like that. Like dreams of like astral projecting. Some of you may actually be astral projecting instead of sleeping. That's a thing. Um... But it just feels like um, being delighted in being your soul. So especially those of you where you're seeing like signs and synchronicities, it's just reminding you that you're divinely supported, that you're a soul temporarily in this body. It's really just to help you, um, give you faith. Some of you really like seeing the signs and synchronicities. So that's kind of your, your spirit team giving you a little bit of boost just because you enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I mean, and, and also signs and synchronicities are telling you where... You would be happy right we got the five of pentacles which does talk about lack it talks about being left out in the cold so especially where you need that inspiration where you need a little bit of faith that's what that's doing okay telling you how to step out of a five of pentacles whether we're talking about internal or external circumstances that's why you're seeing that okay or, or that's why you're dreaming in the way that you're dreaming um that actually doubles down on that analogy because some of you could be literal it could be literal diet but it could just be something missing and your dreams telling you if you prioritize that in your life, it won't be, like, obviously it won't be missing. You won't be feeling that five of pentacles, okay? All right. Some of you need extra blankets at night or to adjust your thermostat. Because some of you are literally just cold at night. That's funny. Especially if you're having trouble sleeping, some of you are just cold. The temperature is off, Okay. Especially if you're waking up at the same time every night. Some of you are actually waking up at the same time every night, okay? That's a energetic thing, okay? So let me pull more cards and see. Tell me about this pile number four. What are they trying to tell you? Your engine numbers, synchronicities, please. There we go. An incoming energy of four of wands. I told you, four of wands is like a couple with a new home and they're really celebrating. It's like celebration after like a wedding, right? Could be literal, but the analogy is still that celebration um, after, you know, finding joy, especially when we talk about after like that lack, right? Feeling a lack and then having something that is very fulfilling, something worth celebrating. That's what your dreams are trying to lead you to. That's what your dreams are encouraging you towards as well as the symbols you're seeing, okay? Telling you exactly what it is that would make you, that I heard the words that would fill that void, okay? So tell me more. Um, some of you the signs you're seeing are specific numbers. That Empress is back. Um, the Empress is um, here with the Eight of Pentacles, which talks about building in an efficient way, right? And surrendering. We got Temperance here as well. Let me get my last card here. Take the bottom. Well, look, I'm like, take my last card. It gave me one. That Ten of Pentacles does talk about like family and community energy, but that Six of Wands 
victory, success. I was reading the Four Wands a little bit like that, but no, we have the actual card that represents victory, success, parades, all of the things, things you could be dreaming about. Um, so yeah, I'm telling you, like you're like everything you're seeing is like okay, feeling in that Five of Pentacles, or it could be historical, right? Um, seeing the potential with the Four of Wands, because I mentioned the new home, right? A new home that's very successful, right? Whether we're talking about like just a, home, a new fresh start, a new home, um, a new relationship, things like that. And we've got that Ace of Cups, which talks about a new love, a new found love, a new love. Could be romantic, does not have to be. That's actually not the dominant energy. I just wanted to make sure those of you that are looking for that, that is here, okay? Let me see. Aquarius has revealed itself in the deck, which talks about unique circumstances and opportunities. Okay. So tell me more about my pile number four, please. What are your dreams telling you? South no. Just came on different piles. So if you came from it, welcome. You have destined to release. So you could be dreaming of past lives, past experiences, especially when we talk about the five of pentacles, things that made you feel like lack, less than, out in the cold, um, abandoned, I heard the word, right? We've got Uranus, which rules Aquarius, radically changed. It talks about shocks and surprises, unique circumstances, right? Things that catch you off guard, especially when we talk about the past, okay? So let me pull from this other deck. Soft no rules your um, gifts and talents that you're born into with this life. Um, like from pa like basically things you've mastered in past lives where you believe in that. If not, take the analogy. Um, finding out in surprising ways things that you're really good and gifted at. Your dreams may be telling you that or the symbols may be leading you to that. So like a good example is if you keep seeing like a random hobby right like you keep seeing like random signs for hobbies that you never you don't even know what that is you're like i don't know what that is um or like someone mentioned it to you do you see it like some a sign and then like you end up accidentally in parking lot for somewhere like that like that's maybe a call to something like that like i'm that's an example but it could be anything similar right so that luck is on your side okay so tell me my pile number four, please. What are their dreams telling them? Angel numbers, synchronicities, please. Let's flip it. There we go. Working through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. So definitely conquering your fears, right? Especially um fears of things based on the past or just dreams of fear because some of you fear lack with that five of pentacles right you some of you fear fail, failure and that's the thing we have nothing will come of this situation so work through your fears nothing will come of the situation your dreams and the symbols around you are encouraging you to not um allow your fear to paralyze you because some of you really have a fear of failure right four wands six of wands talks about success Five Pentacles talks about not having that and never being able to like measure up to that. So nothing will come of the situation. Work through your fears. That's kind of that's what the dreams are telling you. You have unique talents that you're very gifted at, things that you're very good at. Um, you got experiences that you don't even realize that you're gonna be very shocked to learn that you have available to benefit you. Okay. So let me see. Here we got I remember here. Soul plan, the fated life versus the destiny life. I like it. We got destined to release here. Tell me about my pile four. What are their dreams trying to tell them? Any angel numbers are seen? Any synchronicity signs are seen? Please tell us, tell us, tell us. What are the dreams telling my blue donut? I will take the both of these in the bottom. Oh, look at me. I'm like throwing. Um, surrender to the sweetness. Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. Hey, I thought we talked about, um, we did have the Empress. We do have the Ace of Cups. Look at you. This is a pile of joy and pleasure, like feeling good and experiencing things, right? We've got delight, right? We've got joy and happiness. We've got pleasure and joy. Surrender to the sweetness. That's what you're being called to do. That's what your dreams are trying to tell you. 
Okay. We've got Will and Orca Elders. Share your song, frequency of sound, diving deep. So diving deep into who you are, diving deep into what's going to benefit you, right? I, I don't, let me just put this. There we go. I'm like struggling to get this. Um, the Seas of Mentaka, seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light, hidden um, gifts and talents, right? From your past lives, things like that. Or just things you don't realize about yourself in the best way, right? Or should I say the worst way? Revealing that in the best way? Okay. All right, well, why not? Who or what is triggering you? Seeing the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Some of you are for grandmother. Um that's supporting you um like you're having dreams about your grandmother some of you like where we're talking about like your grandmother it's probably a message just to like obviously maybe some of you if there's this and you miss your grandparents right where you have them on the physical plane where you don't that's support from the other side okay some of you that's the symbols you're seeing are signs especially where you know like where you're seeing things that are specific to someone you remember like your like a grandmother that's why, okay? Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. What I said. So, exact exact message. You're getting messages and all things from your ancestors. Specifically, any grandmother type figures, okay? Look at you. We've got play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. Hey, you you have the best energy. This is one of the sweetest piles. You got the joy and delight, right? We've got surrender to the sweetness and play. I mean, lighten up a little bit. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy life. Enjoy life. So I'm going to pull from this last deck to get you more energy on um, where you're not healing. Do have a blessed day. Look at you. It's a great pile. Do what they're telling you to do, right? <laughs> Whatever that is. Okay, so let me, I'm going to get your advice and stuff after this deck but let me let me just close it out so give me my final messages for what the dreams are telling my pile number four my blue donuts okay my pile number four resilience hey you're resilient be resilient straight up you are resilient you are resilient I mean, say it to yourself if you need to, okay? And then um, we got banish a curse. Yeah, don't let fear paralyze you, right? Work through your fears. Nothing's going to come of the situation, right? Banish a curse. You're resilient, okay? You're strong. You're powerful. You have to know that and really allow yourself to enjoy the, the experiences of life in the best way, okay? So let me get, I'm going to get your advice, okay? I'm going to get your advice and then I will get the last card for what your dreams are telling you, okay? Or the signs, angel numbers, whatever. So my advice for my blue donut, my pile number four, give me my advice for this group, please. My advice for my blue donut. There we go. Well, make a, hey, I think, th did this not come out? If you pick the pile, <laughs> I think this came out together. Good for you. Um, do what they're telling you to do because if you pick both piles where it says to do this then you're hard-headed because it's coming out multiple times so go on an adventure right enjoy your life right experience the light play banish the curse surrender to the sweetness enjoy life make a wish so you know i mean especially this pile like make a wish because you got support at least on an ancestral level so go for it go for it okay but let me see What's coming in? I, I, ooh, what's coming in? Your companionship. So what's coming in, what you should be prioritizing? Companionship. Look at you. Which makes sense because you experience that with people. You've got keep going. And then um, self-care, which companionship, self-care, adventure, all of this pleasure, experiencing pleasure is self-care. So if you go on adventures, you enjoy your life, all the good things I told you to do, You'll see companionship and you'll feel encouragement and support from other people to keep going, okay? 
you'll have enough support around you to prioritize yourself even more over time okay look at you so that is all i have for you today my pile number four hopefully it resonated if it did please like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stand to know on the content we post there on this channel thank you for watching